Well, hello YouTube, uh, the Bearded King here, and I just wanted to go over some things. As you can see by this schnazzy new cape on my back, I have finally reached 99 farming. And, uh, let's go over here. I want to show you this super sick emote. Oh, oh, boom. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, what I want to do here is just give you a quick rundown of a 1 to 99 farming guide. Farming is probably one of the easiest skills. It takes a long time, though. It took me 202 hours to get from 1 to 99, but you also know it's because I have 1 and almost everything else besides wood cutting and crafting, which are both 5. Um, if you're making an one stat at a time account, uh, this guy would probably help you a little bit because that's how I did it. I would suggest uh, getting farming after you get crafting and woodcutting to not mess up your account because you might get these uh, experience points. Uh, I am under the impression, well I was under the impression that you had to get crafting experience to get to the farming mini game, but apparently you don't. I don't have information on that right now, sorry. Can't help you, don't care. <clears throat> One second. Okay. Now let's go over my guide the one to 99 farming. Uh, I'll probably type this out in the description below. I'm not going to put the type on the screen because that's like really hard to do and it's annoying. I did it once before for my farm, uh, thieving video and it took me like all day to make it. And I'm just going to make this real quick because I mean farming's super simple. Okay. So 1 to 15 is probably going to be your most annoying levels because you have to do potatoes, onions, cabbages, stuff like that. I highly, highly suggest using super compost because super compost is 26 experience per use. So that means just with super compost at the first farming patch, uh, compost uh, fertilizing all four patches, you're going to hit level two. It's super easy. So use super compost. I just did potatoes up to 15. Then when you get to 15, start with oak trees and you do oak trees until apple trees at 27 and then you start doing trees and fruit trees together now you can do bushes and uh, all this other stuff like uh, the hops and stuff like that if you want like the maximum experience you can you have a and you can get to all these places I suggest do it all but what I did for basically oh no most of my farming was I did tree runs and I did element runs which were uh, where are the elements? I did sweet corn. Now, a two, I did three element patches. So two element patches. I had uh, six. Wait, it was four total patches for sweet corn. So this was my one of my money makers because these profit. Believe it or not, the seeds. Uh, you get more sweet corn, so it's a profit. Strawberries are, I think, a profit too. But there's no flowers that protect strawberries. So I have scarecrows at two farming patches, which you've seen in my other videos where I do my farming runs and stuff. And then my third one, which is at Fall Door, that's where I get my super compost. So I have uh, what called watermelons. And then I did herbs. Uh, with herbs, it's a tie between uh, what are called snapdragons and renar weed for like most profit. But I do torso at 85, just for that uh, experience boost. I did. I just followed it along. I did. Uh, I didn't actually do anything until Renars, and I just grew Renar until I could grow Snapdragon, because I didn't want to mess with all these other ones trying to figure out if there was more profit or balance it and buying different herbs. I was just doing profit for that period of time. But once 85 happened, I was close to the end, so I wanted more experience. Um, I do suggest doing cacti because cac one cacti seed is like 54 gold and then three spines are 15k because they're 5k each. Now you can just grow one cactus and collect the spines every day every nine hours or you can buy multiple seeds and replant them like I did just for that little tiny experience boost. I would not suggest doing Calquat trees at level 3. You can, but I've died a lot, and dying's not really fun, so I mean, I'll just avoid it. I mean, it's, 
it's a pain. I mean, if you if you can get through the jungle and get to them and do them with no problem, more power to you. But I would suggest not doing them. No, the I suggest doing as soon as you can from 20 to 99 sweet corn from 47 to 99 watermelon. You can do this in any setup you want. I did two patches of this, two patches of sweet corn, and then one patch of like one farming spot, like location of watermelons. Uh, I just grew nastriums for watermelons, the protection from disease. You don't even have to water the plants. You don't have to put super, uh, super compost on, which I would suggest because there you go. It's 26 experience using that. Then uh, I had two screw, scare scarecrows. They're super cheap to make, super easy. You just fill the empty sack with straw. The best place to do it is Edgeville. I mean, there's a big straw pile right by the bank. And there you go. You got that. Now, Matit farming. I don't know about 34, 54. I didn't touch this fruit. I don't have a reason to. The look, uh, the Gavano fruit. I mean, I would suggest that to say that for to farming 75 anyway, because just one to 74 is super fast. If you do it nonstop, it's it's not going to take you long. It slows down past 75 because you start your best trees are magic trees, which I did, but. How tith farming works, I did the math a little bit. One round, 100 seeds of tith farming for the Lagava fruit is two magic seeds, magic trees. So if you fan it, you can figure out how much, uh, like if you want to do magics and palms all the way from uh, 75 to 99. I did palms from 68 to 99, but uh. If you want to do that, you can figure out how much you want, and then just, if you can't afford magic trees, supplement that with the tith farming. I mean, you can do two rounds in an hour, and it's 60k experience. It's not that bad. Uh, but what a lot of people say is, don't use yew trees, because the price, they cost almost as much as magic trees, which I'll show that in a second. So, either do maple or magic, because maple's... They're like the medium, so if you want to get 99 farm but you don't have the money, but you have time, you're not in a rush to get it, do uh, maples and pineapple plants. Pineapple sell for a profit. You can even push up the papayas. Papaya sell for a profit. Um, now, my what I do is, what someone explained to me when I started farming, because I'm not the first person to farm, people taught me a lot, is always pay for the fruit tree, but... You don't have to pay for the wood tree. Just use super compost. I mean, most of the times you'll go. I mean, with my magic trees, I only had some of them die. But, like, if you look at these costs, they're insane. I mean, maple trees is the only time when paying them oranges. Uh, I think it's basket. That's a bag of oranges. It's only five. It's not bad. But cactus spine. That's 50. It's 80K for one tree. That's going to cost you probably 120K. Same with the coconuts. Coconuts, that's 25k. Let me see. You sapling. See, 96k. And then there's 10 cactus spines. You're basically spending 180k on you saplings. Um, now, with the tree runs. Just want to talk about it. Like you can also, I'm also gonna probably link the videos below of how I do my tree runs, how I do my element runs. Um, you, I do ten wood trees a day, four fruit trees, because uh, fruit trees take like 16 hours to grow, while the wood trees take eight. But you can do 15 in a day, but like you would have to do it like midnight, 8 a.m., and then 4 p.m. Midnight, 8 a.m., 4 p.m. And, uh, like me, I have a full-time job that wasn't valuable for me to do. But, I mean, if you can f squeeze it in your time, do it. And then, once you get to this glorious 99, you'll unlock this beautiful moon right here. Okay, that, you drop the seeds, you water it, the plants grow, you smell a flower, watermelon. So, I mean... It's not that hard of a skill. It's just going to take you a while. Like I said before, it takes 202 uh, hours. Well, that's how long it took me. 
I mean, it can be done faster. I did take a three month break, but that 202 hours is uh, my play time that I check at Hans and Lombridge. But uh, yeah, so that's my farmer guide. Uh, I will include the how the progress video where I show my elements, and also include the progress video where I do my uh, which we call it uh, trees. I also show the project video where I do Tith Farm. Hmm. And uh, I'm also going to tell you about a quick like chart too. So look below. I mean, this is my quick farming guide. It's great for one stat. What much I call it? Uh, one stat at a time. So farming is super great. It's relax. But uh. Have a great day. This is the end of the video. Sorry, it couldn't be better and all fancy. I'm broke as shit. Don't cut this stuff to make it fancy. This is what you get. Hope you enjoy. Oh, yeah. If you like this, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Be my fan. Love me.